What people think about you and the possibilities for your dream is none of your business. The attitude is it can't be done because they haven't seen it. History is being read, but it's also being written by people with imagination. It's necessary you take responsibility for it, that you make it happen, that you don't give up, that you don't take any objection or disappointment or defeats personally, that you keep on keeping on, that you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, that you realize that's a part of the program. As the physically weak man can make himself strong by careful and patient training, so the man of weak thoughts can make them strong by exercising himself in right thinking. To put away aimlessness and weakness and to begin to think with purpose is to enter the ranks of those strong ones who only recognize failure as one of the pathways to attainment, who make all conditions serve them and who think strongly, attempt fearlessly, and accomplish masterfully. He who would accomplish little must sacrifice little. He who would achieve much must sacrifice much. He who would attain highly must sacrifice greatly. What are you going to do starting tomorrow that will make a difference? Major step to human progress. Discipline. If there's one thing to get excited over, that's it. Get excited over your ability to make yourself do the necessary things. Because the story you have about your life, about your business, about the area of your life that's not where you want it, your story is what makes you stop. Yes, it's hard, it's hard, and we will do it hard. And once it's we do it hard and we go through it, we realize it was worth it. And once you discover it's was worth it, it is done. Study the things that can change your economic, social, spiritual, personal life. See, you don't want to wind up at the end of your life and discover that you've lived only one-tenth of it. 